on Emancipation Day, a song from the first full-length Broadway musical written and performed by African Americans. The show was called Into Homie. It opened on Broadway in 1903 and became an international hit. The show's principal composer was Will Marion Cook. Cook was one of the innovators of ragtime song and helped introduce ragtime rhythms to Broadway. Duke Ellington considered him a mentor. He was from an educated background. His parents were graduates of Oberlin College. His father was a law professor at Howard University. Will Marion Cook was trained as a classical violinist. After two years at Oberlin, he went to Germany, where he studied with the famous violinist Joseph Joachim. He studied with Antonin Dvorak at the National Conservatory of Music in New York. But there were few opportunities for an African-American classical musician, so Cook turned to writing cakewalks and rags. His first big success was the musical Clorindy, or The Origin of the Cakewalk. And the lyric is by the esteemed dialect poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Cook wrote an article in which he described his mother's reaction on hearing her classically trained son rehearse his new song. My mother, who was cooking breakfast, came into the parlor, tears streaming from her eyes. My mother was a graduate of Oberlin in the class of 1865 and thought that a Negro composer should write like a white man, just like a white man. To give us a picture of how thrilling it must have been when it was first performed on the rooftop garden of the Casino Theater, let's hear what Cook wrote about the reaction opening night on Broadway. When the last note was sounded, the audience stood and cheered for at least ten minutes. <laughs> Maybe when the pearly gates opened wide and the multitude of hosts march in, shouting, laughing, singing, emoting, there will be a happiness which slightly resembles that of Clorindy's 26 participants. I was so delirious that I drank a glass of water, thought it was wine, and got gloriously drunk. Negroes were at last on Broadway and there to stay. Gone was the ufda of the minstrel. Gone was the Massa Lincoln stuff. We were artists, and we were going a long, long way. Nothing could stop us, and nothing did. Listening to Paul Robeson's 1933 recording of Cook's best known song, Swing Along, from his musical In the Homie, the first full length Broadway musical written and performed by African Americans. It opened on Broadway in 1903. In the Homie traveled to London, where its hit run included a command performance at Buckingham Palace. Will Marion Cook. He wrote show tunes, pop songs, and art songs. This performance is from the soundtrack of the documentary Dvorak in America.
Music by Will Marion Cook, a composer who once described himself as trying to destroy wrongs and write beautiful music. <laughs> 